today I have the pleasure of speaking with Christopher Ecclestone. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Well, I'll tell you, antimony starts with A. There's 50 that we're covering that are listed from the Department of Defense in the United States. Antimony is one of these, but the what is antimony in Wikipedia seems to be not as exciting as the one you were telling us earlier. Right. Yeah, well, antimony is actually on everybody's list of critical metals. There are only a very few number of metals that uh, actually hit all the right places, and antimony is one of them. And that is due to its historic dominance by China. China still dominates the processing of the metal and did until recent years also dominate the production of the metal from mines. Uh, their production has been going down from mines, uh, but they've still got a pretty strong grip on the processing and they like to think that they have a grip on, on the pricing as well. Um, our goal is to maybe, you know, sort of like release that death-like grip on the uh, antimony market and uh, hopefully become the largest non-Chinese producer of antimony maybe in five years from now. Molten salt battle batteries. This is obviously the inspiration of the name for Molten Metals, your new company that just newly listed three weeks ago with only 17 million shares outstanding. I love the structure, Christopher. Tell us about Molten Salt Batteries, please. Uh, right. Molten Salt Batteries are essentially mass storage device for energy. They, they don't go in EVs and they don't go in your house. They are for taking uh, large amounts of electricity at relatively remote locations, uh, whether they're solar farms in, in Nevada or, or wind farms in some isolated location, taking the, uh, the energy generated, storing it in um, large batteries uh, that are not particularly mobile, they're, they're static, and they consist of um, molten salt, antimony salt, that and they store the energy there. Now, these are a new, not a new concept. They were invented in the late 1940s, um, but around 15, 12 years ago, uh, a, a professor at MIT um, picked up the idea and decided we should commercialize this. Uh, around the same time, vanadium redox batteries were also appearing as a mass storage device. And so these two sort of formats are now sort of slugging it out, but they, 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 they do have their differences. And so, um, and to me, molten salt uh, could be a big new usage for antimony. At the moment, it's not actually impacting upon the price or the consumption, um, but it would definitely be the icing on the antimony cake if molten salt gets mass uh, adoption by um, parties in the energy storage space. Well, I'll tell you, Christopher, uh, I would like to recommend that your team do an update on Wikipedia about how exciting antimony is. And for more information, you can go to Molten Metals or the Critical Minerals Institute. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you very much.